that's done also we are going to put timer just like in the flashlight so people can fool the system public float timer uh, going to do this on void update and then if on status is equal to true then um, timer if on status then timer timer should void start let us say um, it will decrease one field every two second maybe or, or you can just increase it if you want so we're not going to use void update first void start and then so yeah, I'm going to start from void update um, and then we need a bool check once if on status actually we don't it's not on set if check once is equal to true and then i'm going to make this check once is equal to false um and then here we're going to have an enumerator because we're going to have a yield function um decrease timer something like that and then um or what we can do is uh, we don't need check once I don't know why we need check once and then if void update now if on status is equal to true then void start timer should be 10 10 10 second it's not a second just it's 10 just number 10 and then if on status if if it's on then timer is equal to timer minus minus equal one divided by five they will uh they will timer is equal timer uh minus time dot delta time or you can just use timer is equal minus time dot delta time divided by five if uh, then if timer is lower or equal than zero what we're gonna do is fill left minus minus or minus one and if you left minus one timer will be back to ten um i think that's all for script actually should be no error showing um, I forgot um, public game object lights and then I'm going to put here if fill left is equal to zero and then on status is equal to false and then um, timer is equal to 10 which this is everything and make sure light lights because it's a game object dot is it um, set active is equal to false um, else if on status i mean by i mean else is if your left is bigger then uh, actually uh, we're going to use else um we're going to do if 
fuel left is bigger than zero and if on status is equal to true and then lights dot set active is equal to true just like that all right now inbox is um, This one should be the gen start is the inbox. We want to drag inbox to gen start, and then in the generator, I'm going to put the actual generator. The lights is the lights com uh, and the child. Um, and the in button should be uh, the in button. should be this one also in the gen one all right now let's try uh, oh it's bigger than i thought uh why can't i get in oh yeah, yeah i forgot um gen start what then starts with its trigger that is why not working uh fuel is zero because um we forgot to add fuel left is equal to 100 just for the sake of this starting if you want to make the start zero you can just use that uh, the light should be off because there's no fuel and it's an off status so yeah the light should be off when I, when I get in the game uh, somehow it's not off um, um, on but in button Um, if on button if generator is on status on button on trigger enter why switch oh that's the problem uh, I'm going to remove this generator and in button and go to the switch one in button switch go to the switch and uh, not the switch i mean not the inbox it's the in button there we go and the generator and and the generator should go to the main one the generator and the lights just link it right there it should work hopefully Uh, as you can see right there it's working but we and uh, but i forgot to change something i just pressed d a lot it's not good uh this one uh why did i increase 30 that one should we increase 30 this one <laughs> oh my bad um on status is false right why, why is that active because Lights dot set active is equal to false. If you want to have a false or or a closed light default, because it's not decreasing any fuel because on status is false. So if you keep the lights on, so it's just nothing. Infinite energy. Now the lights should be off when you get in the game. If All right, as you can see, the lights are off. That is a great sign. And whenever you got, go here, press E to start. If I press E, uh, it does nothing. Let me check if, if we did something wrong. If in button, now if on button, okay, if the generator status is off, 
imp generator status which else is this that is the problem right there we said the wrong else cute uh, it should be this else and then put like that now this should work uh, let the let EDT uh, refresh it when I go here press E um, and then when I press E to start as you can see it start but why does it why why when I press E general status is Mm -hmm. uh, why light is on gen start? That is weird. I think it is why. Okay, let me try again. And I go here, press E to start. Uh, when I press off generator. Timing is decreasing, but it's very slow. I'm not going to divide any. Um, if on if you left void update, yes, I forgot. If on stat if on status is equal to false, basically just put an exclamation point right there, and then lights dot set active lights set active is false there we go we are done with our generator and stuff I want to see if the field is decreasing or not all right timer is not decreasing that is good to know when I press E timer is still working right there all right what when when it hits zero should decrease by one and the timing is when I stop the timer it stops again all the lights is off there is good now we can start with um, with oh my god it's floating there we go now we can start with the fuel canister uh, now I'm going to make a new cube again cube right here and then name this fuel can all right uh, my this is my fuel can it's pretty much fuel can niche if you ask me there we go and then I'm going to have a new scrape right here this one should be a uh, fuel can not fuel can inventory then open up your inventory script um public static in number num of num of just name this fuel amount and then void on UI you can always play with the GUI I'm not going to work I'm not going to really focus on the GUI in this kind of tutorial because they're just going to waste my time a lot and the video time because I've been recording this for 32 to 32 minutes even though the video might be shorter because I cut a little bit because sometimes the game just doesn't not the game the unity just crash sometimes so yeah zero I'm going to put this on 200 to 130 yeah yeah five and then this then is fill amount dot to string just like that and then um, if inbox now we're going to continue with inbox now if inbox if inbox now I'm going to put down here if it's if inbox is equal to true 
and then going to show joy dot box new rack zero um what i have is 30 so next is 60 225 press r to real to refuel um generator uh the problem is not right that if inbox it should be placed down here if inbox if um if input dot get key down key code dot r and then if inventory dot fill amount is bigger than what bigger than zero then inventory dot fill amount minus by one and then right here we're going to put a int public in fill uh should not be placed there um um this one box should be capital s b fill amount and then hold on we're going to add new script this script is supposed to be called fill can now open i'm going to open my fill can script and then now public static refill amount um, now void start now since for the sake of tutorial um, the refill amount is equal to 50 you got to refill 50 percent basically now if you want to put percent basically just put plus percent there we go and then fuel and then uh, fuel left plus equal fuel can dot refill amount just like that and then um, void on trigger enter collider other if my other like that um in fuel can is good to try and there's no in fuel can so we're going to put public bull in fuel can and void on trigger exit collider other and then in fuel can is equal to false now void on gui again if in fuel can is equal to true uh, inventory is 200 so we're going to take 180 70 yeah 170 so joy dot box new rag zero to 170 225 uh, press e to to take to take the fuel can all right now it's going to be on void update if in fuel in in if if in fuel can is equal to true if input dot get get key down key code dot e and then uh key code dot e is capitalized k and capitalized e um what key code i think both is capitalized mistake and key code dot e there we go this dot dot um this dot game object equal um wait uh uh 
Uh, game object dot dot. Oh wait, how do you remove the game object? How can I even forget myself? Um. Uh, let's just think about it later. Generator, not generator. Inventory dot fuel amount plus plus, and then uh, what is okay, and then yeah, destroy this. Uh, just like that okay I'm gonna copy a bunch of fuel can if uh, the fuel can I forgot to put the fuel can the fuel script fuel can and then I forgot to actually uh box color make it make it a bigger box collider to increase the size maybe by five 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 no definitely that's not five definitely this one should be 15. yeah it's smaller yeah just like that oh and make sure this is on its trigger and it's copy bunch of fuel can and uh, my inventory goes to my first person controller then you have the inventory script now when, I, when you get in the game and uh, there's how much fuel you have not 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 fuel now uh, it doesn't destroy this game object uh, am I missing something uh, yes forgot this dot game object all right now uh, let's go to generator yet let's see to start when I press R is not refilling anything now when I get this fuel can fuel can and then when I go here, when I press R, it, it adds the fuel thingy to, yeah, it, has, it will add 50% every time each fuel can is inserted. So yeah, um, that's for the tutorial on the junior tutorial. I hope this tutorial helps in your game or any project that you're working on. If you think that this video helps, please hit that like button and if you want to see more tutorial on my channel and you don't want to miss it, and please hit that subscribe button. Uh, thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.